Holy crap. So I found our, our first new enemy here um, in the lands of Mania. What is this? An Electra Matron? It's like a giant ant drag looking thing. It's nasty. Oh, and then it shot us with a poison. What's it doing? I, I hit it and now it's freaking out. Oh my gosh. That thing is ten times more disturbing than I could have ever imagined. Look at it. It's practically going to fly off the ground. Oh, now I paralyzed it. It's going to do it again. Apparently, if you paralyze these things, they do strangely. Let's cut it up. Kill it with fire. Oof. Big, nasty insect. Electra Icker, huh? Okay. First creature we meet was a big old nasty freaking bug. So that's that's cool. Not Oh, there's that wall that goes all around the front part there to keep casuals out of the realm. It seems I found Longtooth Camp. Is that friendly up? Nope. That person is not friendly. Oh, come on. What is that? Is that a... A hunger. Those creatures were very prominent in Morrowind. Very disturbing looking. They have kind of sucked in faces. Are you a vampire lady? What's your deal? Come on and die. You're pretty strong, aren't you? There we go. Class arrows. Heretic robes. Okay. A trans... Transformed heretic. Alrighty, whatever that's supposed to be. Bark and sap. The root system and the ecology and culture of the gnarl. Okay, mm a gnarl. I wonder what that is. Some gold. Oh, a little statue to shield Goroth. Heretical thoughts. Celetry in it is an abomination that must be wiped from the Shivering Isles. We cannot suffer their beliefs to spread to even one more soul. They name us heretics for our lack of belief. We gladly accept the name and we will make an honorable one. It is not heresy to speak truth. It is not heresy to speak out against an unjust lord. It is not heresy to take arms and actions in defense of true belief. We are the so-called heretics of the Shivering Isles. We do not speak heresy. We speak the truth. Our Lord Sheogoroth is but a man. He is only flesh and blood, not a god, and certainly not a Daedric prince. There are no princes in the realms of the Daedra, only vile servitors such as the hungers that we summon to do our bidding. Sheogoroth the False is a mad despot. Years of dabbling in foul magic and consorting with Daedra have driven him mad. He is not a fit ruler, let alone divine. He perverts the teachings of Arden Sul, he who gave his heart's blood. When the truth of our cause is common knowledge among the people, we will drive him from New Sheoth and put that cesspool to the sword. His four limbs will be scattered to the four winds. His head will rest upon the hill of suicides, and his heart shall be burnt in the flames of freedom. His entrails shall be fed to the dogs. We will make all the people of the Shivering Isles wear the robes of the heretics. By these robes we know each other to be true non-believers. People shall return to the wilderness and live among the wild things as we do. They will see the wisdom and purity of the life we lead and they will hail us as saviors. Interesting. So, Sheogoroth is a man. According to this, what's this? The Fork of Horopilation? Pretty sure that's a Daedric artifact of his. Yeah, it totally is. It's a one-handed weapon that's a fork. Fork's wound added. What's that? Oh, it stunts my Magicka when I wield it? Yeah, let's keep in mind this is a Mad God we're talking about. His, uh, his artifacts don't exactly always make sense. Right. Okay. Interesting. What's... Oh, hang on. We got a book here. The Predecessors. Being an examination of the curious ruins of the Shivering Isles and their terrible significance for our future. Interesting. So, there... Yeah, there are ruins around here. I mean, if Sheogoroth's an eternal prince, why are there ruins that are not from these people? 
Ingvar the Wanderer. Indulge me, everyone. I want to read. I want to read this. I legitimately don't remember all the lore in this place. The ancient ruins that dot the countryside are a familiar sight to the inhabitants of the Shivering Isles. So familiar that their true significance has escaped noticed the no uh, escaped notice of most until now. I have recently uncovered the terrible secret hidden within these ruins, and I will now share the secret with you. But be warned: this knowledge may be too much for some, as you will know the awful fate that lies in store for you but will be powerless to do anything to prevent it. If you are strong enough of mind to withstand the psychic shock of having your grim future laid bare, read on. Jeez. My interest in the ruins began with a simple observation. All the ruins visible on the surface appear to be of roughly the same age and architectural style. Who created these once mighty structures and what happened to them? Further investigation revealed an even stranger truth. Although the ruins superficially all appear to derive from the same era, they are in fact of wildly different ages. Many thousands of years separate the ruins of Silarn, by far the oldest extent on the surface despite its relatively well-maintained state, from the ruins of Ebroka, Ebroka, which at most which at almost 1,000 years old is one of the youngest sites in the Isles. For those who would dismiss this conclusion, I invite you to visit the ruins and examine the evidence for yourselves. The depth of strata covering the buried portions of the structures, the weathering of the exposed stone, the growth of vegetation on and above, around the structures, etc. I have compiled the evidence in a separate monograph dating the predecessor's ruins. Shocking new evidence, compressively, comprehensively explained, which is presented un presently unpublished, though I will gladly make it available for those scholars wishing to delve further into the uh, minutiae of the subject. Almost done here, folks. Once I begin to accurately establish the dates of the various ruins, a disturbing pattern emerged. The ruins fell into distinct periods, each period separated by exactly 1,000 years from the other. Although Silarn remains the exception, being many thousands of years older than the next oldest extent ruin, um, suggesting only that the ruins from many earlier eras lie waiting to be discovered or have been lost to the ravages of time. What could account for this process of destruction repeating itself every 1,000 years without fail? The legend of the Grey March sprang immediately to mind, that ancient tale of a vengeful god venting his wrath upon the land. What if it were more than a legend? What if it were the dimly remembered account of a real event? I suddenly realized the significance of the dating of the most recent ruin that I had discovered, Ebroka, which my test proved to be about 1,000 years old. Yes, dear reader, we, can't, we come to it at last. The cataclysm is upon us again. I have dated the ruins of Ebrica to great accuracy. I know the very year of the doom. I refrain from publishing the exact date, as this knowledge is a terrible burden that I would not inflict on others. For a long time I hesitated from issuing even this general warning, fearful of inciting panic or despair, but I have concluded that it is better to have time to prepare for the end in whatever way one sees fit, than to have it thrust upon them unawares. Holy crap. Interesting. So the Isles have uh have see they have their own lore. Like you think that oh Shiogoros all powerful. Nothing nothing could be beyond what it seems, right? He's just a god. But already we have a faction of people who think he's a regular man. What is that? What the Oh, it's us. We knocked it down. A verdant gnarl. Well, there's your gnarl for you. It looks to be a tree spirit of sorts. Very, you know, tree beard from Lord of the Rings looking. Interesting. That was a verdant gnarl. Huh. Gnarl bark. Okay. Running into plenty of new enemies. Well, we've walked quite a ways here. And I think, uh... I think we found it. That must be the capital. It's in the three parts like they described. So Bliss, Crucible, and the Temple District. So I guess I'll get us down to town here and we'll head on in. This has been quite a, a journey. I love that it makes you walk this road. 
you know, without your mount or anything, because it just, it just adds so much to the experience. There's so much, because, you know, like the way I chose to come through Mania, there's so much color, but don't get me wrong, Dementia is just as beautiful in its own kind of darker, different way, so... Here we are. Coming up to the city itself. Wow. Look at this. Oh. First look at some guards. Bliss. So that must be the obviously the mania side. Makes sense. What are you? Speak quickly, mortal. Ah, so see, instead of Dramora, this is what Sheogoroth uses. Golden Saints. Speak quickly. Uh, is this New Sheoth? New Sheoth is the capital of the Shivering Isles. We Oriole guard Bliss, the Manic District of the city. Okay. Uh, thanks. Go. Alrighty, we will go then. City of Bliss, there are no jails in the Shivering Isles. Criminals are temporarily exiled to a dungeon instead. So, going to prison in the Shivering Isles is actually quite an adventure. If that interests you, do it. I highly recommend it. Look at this place. Look at this place! All oh, this city is awesome. Speak quickly, mortal. Oh, hey, piss off. The, cho the choosy beggar. Oh, I'm remembering all the, the shops now. The missing pauldron. Wow, that's cool. Let's head up. Now, in the Shearing Isles, there's a lot of new gear added, but there's two suits of armor, one light and one heavy, that are special, and you have to go around collecting throughout the world random drops. Um, there are a few areas that have fixed amounts, but you're looking for... So the light armor is amber, and the heavy armor is madness. And both are some of the coolest looking armors I've ever seen in an Elder Scrolls game, uh, ever. So... You know, I'm going to make it a goal if it works out on this playthrough. It doesn't always, because I don't want to spend like a hundred hours looking for Amber. But if it works out, man, at our full max level, we could get the perfected Amber version. And they come pre-enchanted and everything, and they are just unreal powerful. There's also, just so you know, in the aisles, so in all the dungeons and random boxes in all of the world of the Shivering Isles, there is a small chance to spawn a bunch of little intricate pieces that will go to a museum. We're not going to be doing that in this Let's Play because it's it's very tedious. It's for the perfectionists. Uh, and it is amazing. And I really wish I had the time to do it, but just not in the cards this time. But if I find any of those items, I'll show you. Uh, the fork actually might be one of them. But what's really fascinating is you could open a thing and there's like a 1 or 2% chance for some of the items to ever spawn. So... It's a lot of luck, which kind of fits the Mad God's province, but at the same time, if you go through and open all the containers and uh, do all that, you'll find it. And once you find them, you bring them back to a museum and you get a reward. I think it's just gold, maybe some items, but um, if it works out, I'm going to try to get us a suit of perfect amber armor. And one of the rare spawns, this is where I'm going with this, is called matrices. And matrices are already the pre-made version of the piece you want, so you don't have to get all the ore. There's a blacksmith, that missing pauldron down there in uh, Bliss. You go to him, and he'll craft you the armor if you bring him enough of the stuff. So, it's a long process, but as we clear this out, I'm going to try to get us a suit of amber, because it's awesome. Yes. Oh. What do you want? Uh, it's none of your business. Mortal. Here we go. The palace of Sheogoroth himself. Just think, when we did- oh look, there's this other kind of guard for the- for the other side of town. This must be Dark How Seducers. So we have Dark Seducers and Golden Saints. Those are like his Dramora. They do all his leg work. That's freaking sweet. Oh, and the different colors on each side of the courtyard. Yeah, he's definitely a split personality kind of guy, but... Isn't it crazy to think when we did his Daedric Shrine quest and he was talking to us? This is where he lives. Like, we're at his house right now. Speak in another me. realm. It's just... How many people in this world statistically would ever get to go to a place like this? Not many. There he is. The Mad God himself. Get ready for some of the best dialogue ever. He's already clapping for us. 
a new arrival. Shame about my gatekeeper. I'm so happy I could just tear out your intestines and strangle you with them. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose an introduction is in order. I'm Sheogorath, Prince of Madness, and other things. I'm not talking about them. You've probably figured that out by now. Let's hope so, or we're in real trouble. And out come the intestines, and I skip rope with them. <laughs> but perhaps now's not the time. You've made it this far, farther than anyone else. Well done. Take this trinket of mine. Perhaps it will serve you well, or look lovely on your corpse. Yeah, so do you detect a pattern here? He has that split personality where it kind of goes, ha ha, and then he says something really dark, and ha ha, he's, I just, uh, I think he's great. His voice actor in all these games is so good. And you know what's funny? If you go back and look at the base game of Oblivion, Shio Goroth had a different voice before Shivering Isles, and they actually got this guy to re-record the shrine quest so that it's the same guy. Um, and I'm not making that up. You can go look it up. Uh, what do you want? I've been waiting for you! For someone like you. For someone other than you for some time. I need a champion, and you've got the job! Time to save the realm! Rescue the damsel! Slay the beast! Or die trying. Your help is required. A change is coming! Everything changes, even Daedric Princes, especially Daedric Princes. Ooh, conspiracy theory. Uh, changes, you say? Daedra are the embodiment of change, change and permanency. I'm no different, except in the ways that I am. A Grey March is coming, and you're going to stop it. Okay, the Grey March. The details aren't important, at least not right now. Eternity is on a rather tight deadline. We'll get back to that later. Okay, uh, what now? Now, you run an errand for me. An important one, of course. Anything I tell you to do is important. My realm, my rules. You're going to Zedillion. One of my favorite spots in the Isles. It's a little place I used to take care of unwanted visitors. Oh, wow. And some are more unwanted than others. Okay. Uh, why Zedillion? The gatekeeper takes care of most of the unwanted, but he's dead. We'll have to remedy that soon as well. Oh, great. Anyway, there are those that have other ways into my realm. And they're on the move. We don't want them here. Trust me. So, you're going to get Zedillion up and running. Here's a little book to tell you how. And the Attenuator of Judgment. Uh, you'll need that too. Of course, you can always get more details from Haskell. He's a detail-oriented type of person. A big help. And a snappy dresser. He is a snappy dresser. Now... Get going, before I change my mind. Or my mind changes me. I think that second statement's pretty accurate. Uh, thank you, Lord Shiogoroth. You can go now. Run along, scoot. Alright, and it looks like Zedillion's way down here in Dementia, so... I guess we'll take the road south out of town and... get down there to Zedillion. Ah, oh, Dementia. The much more dark and ghetto side. Quite the, uh, ah! oh. I took a little bit of fall damage there. Oh. <laughs> Bunch of blood and bones down there. Okay. I have a hurry up spell on, if you're wondering. So I'm trying to haul out of here. Want to, uh, Shivering Isles has a ton of great side quests. And we might do one or Blessing, two. We'll see. Citizen. But, you know, I can't do everything in this Let's Play. I want something for you guys to, uh, to do yourselves, and trust me, there's plenty. You think you've seen it all. You have not. You've just seen some of the major things. Oh, look at that waterfall. 
Wow. Boy, we're drawing near to Zedillion. I've been using, uh, I went the, this way. I took kind of the shortcut. And I put on this whole Let's Play. We've been holding on to this necklace of sea walking. And I thought, when am I ever going to use that? I almost left it, but I'm glad I didn't. Because look, look at all this water you'd have to swim through. I'm just running across the surface of it. It's wonderful. So, bring water breathing and water walking with you. Oh, crew mites. Okay. I think we've reached the place. So we need to actually fight these guys. Man, wreck them. Oh, come on, hurry up, spell. We need to get up higher. There we go. Made it. Let's get up here where the, uh... Or we come into it, or we're supposed to. Maybe we came into it the back way. It's very possible I came into this backwards. Yeah, because this is supposed to be entrance. You're supposed to come from up there. We just come around and do what we want. Where are you? Where's this thing that's trying to fight me? Okay. I'll unready my arrow. Whatever, we're going inside. It's gonna follow us in and attack us if it wants. Sedillion. Once a main line of defense for the Shearing Isles was abandoned after the gatekeeper was made. I've entered Zedillion. I should now begin locating the focus crystals that link the resonator of judgment with the rest of the dungeon. Okay. Oh, look at the button faces. So this place is always interesting. You essentially dungeon crawl through this whole place full of these guys who apparently when we shoot them with our bow it disables them right away because drain drain whatever you know maybe not oh I'm out of enchantment I'll bet is the deal this guy's a little stronger that one's a little weaker in the back because I got some sneak attacks on him I think is what happened come on dude die look okay. how They're very interesting, especially after reading that book about the history of the Shivering Isles. It makes you wonder, like, were these guys ever, like, a race? Because, I mean, obviously they exist. Kind of like, you know, we, we look at minotaurs and whatnot in Cyrodiil and think, oh, they're just primitive beasts. But remember, they, they were intelligent and had their own civilization and stuff at one time before, you know, before things changed. Oh! I've discovered the first of the three focus crystals. That's right, you need them for uh, for this quest. Duh. It was affixed to the top of a Groomite Shaman's crystal staff. I think they are using the crystals as a power source for their weapons. Now that I've removed it from the staff, I should place the focus crystal in the Judgment Nexus to continue. Aha, here we go. I've placed the first focus crystal into the Nexus. I can now continue searching for focus crystals. That opens our next door. Look at that. Interesting. Huh. Alright, let's kill us some more Grumites. Here we go. Madness War Axe Matrix. See? We just found that. That's super rare to find matrices. matrices. I found an unusual item called a Matrix. It looks like a mold of some kind. It seems magical. I should ask around. Someone in the Shivering Isles must know what this is used for. Oh, I know what it's used for. A lot of madness ore in this uh, this dungeon, for sure. So remember, when you're in here, you're looking for these shaman. They all got the crystal staffs. Black tar, gonna make some heroin out of that, huh? Just kidding. Okay, got the second focus crystal, which means right up here. Usually right by where you kill the shaman is the pedestal right here. Bam, put it in the nexus. Okay, we gotta find one more crystal. Here we go. Here's the third pedestal in here. I've been able to snipe these Grumites off pretty readily. Now I'm just using glass arrows. If I had something better, I could take them. Let's drop the archer first. Or we can just kill all of them. There's two. Got him. Look at that. I hear one more somewhere. I don't think he's on our side. Crystal staff. There it is, third one. Let's just check these guys. Always check them because they can have uh, enemies can drop those those materials randomly and the the matrices. In fact, I found a second war axe one for madness in here alone. Both were on just grumite guys. So 
I've placed the third and final focus crystal into the Judgment Nexus. The path to the Resonator of Judgment itself is now clear. My next task should be to attune the Resonator by using the Actuinator. Oh my gosh. Actuinator of Judgment that Shield Goroth provided me. Okay. Alright. Now this is one of my favorite quests in all of Oblivion because of what's coming next. This first part kind of is just standard. You gotta go through a dungeon, kill a bunch of nasty bad guys as you just wander around because, you know, bad guys and stuff. What is this? A large crystal just growing in the middle of this? This seems odd. Oh, that's the Resonator of Judgment. I hit it with the hammer. The Resonator of Judgment has been attuned. I should now make my way back to New Sheoth and report my success to Shio Goroth. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Let's break into this and look and see if there's anything good. Oh, Madness or Look at that. That's pretty freaking cool. That's some Daedric magic right there. Oh, look, teleportation pad. How very nice. Finally. Oh. Lord Sheagorath has sent someone to assist me. But where are my manners? <clears throat> Must get into my professional tone. <clears throat> what? Welcome to Zedillion. I'm the dungeon caretaker, Kiliban Nerendil. You've done a terrible job. There's Grimites all over the place. Uh, tell me more about Zedillion. A wonder of engineering, is it not? It is. Zedillion is the ultimate test of metal for the foolhardy adventurer that dares trespass into the Shivering Isles. What they don't know is that they're being drawn to their doom, courtesy of the Resonator of Judgment. Uh, interesting. Tell me more. Ever since that wretched gatekeeper was made, Zedillion became redundant. It fell into disrepair and was eventually all but forgotten. After only a few years passed, the Grumites began moving in. Ghastly things. They mistook the focus crystals for some sort of religious symbols and removed them from their rightful places. This rendered the Resonator inert and Zedillion completely useless. Luckily, you came along and placed Zedillion back into operation. Um, enough. How do I get out of here? Yes, yes. I, I tend to ramble. You'll have to forgive me. If you have the attenuator, then Sheagorath must have sent you. Zedillion would normally have sent you back to the entrance when you stepped on the pad in the resonator chamber. Since you're up here, I can only surmise that adventurers are already entering the dungeon as we speak. Oh, really? Um, what should I do? The only thing we can do is let the adventurers complete a cycle through here. I'll be glad to help. I assume Sheagorath gave you the Manual of Zedillion. You can consult it for more information, or I can provide instructions. Well, we're pretty sick of reading. Uh, give me some instructions. As the adventurers make their way through Zedillion's chambers, they will encounter choices that you make in these control platforms. All you need to do is decide what becomes of the adventurers. Will you drive them insane? Or will you pull the life from their bodies? Holy crap. Um, yeah. Okay, this is a little different than serving the, uh, the Aedra, huh? How do I make the choices? Simple. Wait until the adventurers are in position, and then press a button. If they survived, they will proceed to the next chamber, and so on. It's really quite ingenious. How do I know when I'm... Let's see. Uh, do you handle the cleanup? Well, the dead will be disposed of. Have no fear. That's my job. Those that are lucky enough to merely go insane will be granted a place in the Shivering Isles as a permanent resident. Okay. How do I know when I'm done? You'll know you're done when they lie dead on the ground or they are out of their minds. Oh, wonderful. Of course, any of their possessions you wish to keep are yours for the taking. I'll make sure you get them when you're done. Oh, perfect. Um, that's enough information for now. As you wish. Uh, alright. Let's, let's do this.
So good to be back in business. Okay, for this first part, what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to put out my torch, and we're going to watch what happens. And I also am going to go into my options really quick. I'll turn this back down when we're done. But I'm going to go to voice, and I'm going to crank it all the way up, because they're going to be in the room, and I want you guys to be able to hear them. This, this is one of my favorite quests in a game ever, right here. It's just, it's just so fun. So, here we go. Enjoy. Here's my options here. Inactive. Okay, we get options when they come. Here they come. Now keep your weapons ready and watch your backs. Do what I say, we might just get out of here alive. So I can summon a swarm of gnarls or a giant gnarl. Ah. Let's, uh... Jeez. I think one means death and one means Let's insanity. I think... This means insanity. This place. How's a keen? Will you give in to your dark side or not? Let's uh, let's make him go insane. Giant gnarl. What an oblivion is that thing? <laughs> this is one of the horrid guardians of which the stories spoke. Be careful. There may be more to this creature than meets the eye. What a joke! Let's be rid of this thing and continue on our way. Are my eyes playing tricks? Or is the creature by the glowing? Gods, when will it stop? It could devour us whole. Run for your lives! Get back here, you cards! Something's not right. <laughs> All this time it was merely an illusion. How clever. Wait, what's wrong with Lewin? It makes no sense. You should be d dead. But what the no. I think this place got to him. Perhaps we should leave. No, we'll pick him up on the way out. He must fend for himself. There you go. So, first party member, I've driven insane. I've unleashed a giant gnarl on the adventurers in Zedillion. With the threat of what he perceived as certain death knocking at his door, Lewin the Rogue has gone insane. I should make my way to the next observation room and choose how the adventurers will encounter their next obstacle. Yeah. So you come right back here. And there's these teleports. Let's uh, talk to this. Oh, here we go. He opens it for you. Come right here. <laughs> this quest is so awesome. All right, here we go. Phase two. Look, I told you. Treasure. Let's have at it, Sindelius. So I can either drop key, a bunch of keys or there could be a fire trap. Hmm. Let's drop a bunch of keys. Let's make them go insane. The cage is locked. Grumok, be careful. This looks too good to be true. If only Lewin were here, he could get us through this in no time. We'll have to fend for ourselves. Do you think you can pry the door open? Forget it. This is obviously a trick. Let's get out of here. To be so close, and yet so far. If only we had the key. Wait. Do you hear something? Oh, there's your keys. Look. Keys. One of them must open the gate. We're rich. Let's get out of here, Sindelius. This is obviously a trick to waste our time. I'll know it when I see it. Yes, it must be here. They're all fake. Just come with me now. Find it, yes. I must find the key. Rich beyond all my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> ah, suit yourself. I've caused Sandelius the mage to go insane by pouring hundreds of keys on the ground, which convinced him that one of them opened the gate to the huge treasure pile. All that remains now is the leader of the group, Gromok. I should make my way to the last observation room and choose how to the stubborn orc will encounter his final obstacle. You know, Zakin is, uh... Gold. <laughs> that, that dark elf is losing it. You know, Zakin is kind of feeling funny. He's enjoying this. 
None of those keys fit the lock, huh? Yeah. There's definitely some change occurring in our character, Too bad for none sure. Of those keys fit the lock. <laughs> That's what you said. That is funny, though. Ooh, what do we have here? Steady, Grimok, steady. You've been through worse before. What more could this place possibly throw at you? Hmm, good question, Gromok. You can either have a ghost illusion, this or you can raise the, the dead creeps. to kill you. I have to give in to my dark side. Let's raise the dead. What? <laughs> the very dead rot strike me, will you? <laughs> oh. Well, you're dead. <laughs> I've caused the death of the remaining orc adventurer, Gromok, by animating the zombies in the final room of Zedelian. Now that all the adventurers have been dealt with, I should speak to Killaban. That orc kind of looked like he had a unique sword on him. Hmm. You've made short work of the intruders. Shea Gorath should be proud to have such an efficient apprentice. Why, thank you, Killaban. Now, if you'll step on the last teleporter pad, I will meet you in the reception chamber so we can recover your earnings. Very good. Not to worry. We'll have your spoils to you in no time at all. And here's your spoils right here in this chest. Oh. You need a key. Oh, look. Oh, what the heck? Did the crystal just come out of the ground? I don't... Oh, uh, there are crystals coming up all over the place. What? What are these guys? Knight of Order? The Grey March. That's what these guys are about. Look at them. Oh, there's some of the guys we drove insane behind the door. Got to kill a man. The Knights of Order are attacking. I'm just warming up. Look at these guys. Die, damn you. Oops. What's the matter? Getting tired? Get him. Let's get this over with. Got him. What on earth were those guys? A heart of order, Jigalag's favor. Let's take those. And I'm not quite sure. Pure order sword? Frost damage? We might take one of those to look at. Glass arrows. Interesting. Oh, perfect order sword. That must be the highest level version. We don't want the pure one. That does way more damage. Yeah. Perfect is the highest you can get. It's got pretty respectable damage here. Let's fix it up and see what it does. So, for the perfect order sword... Ooh, I'm over encumbered. Oh no, I knew this day would come. Per Frost. It does 27. That's not bad. Oh, that's a pretty cool looking sword. Thornblade and Goldbrand are going to do more though. That's a neat sword. These appear to be Daedra from uh, a totally different realm, don't they? Interesting. Well, we won't take that sword with us. Don't need it. Are we still over encumbered? No. Oh, I have the walk toggle on. Kill a band. As is the tradition, you are to be awarded a focus crystal as a token of your fine work. Are we just going to ignore those guys' attack? I'll this? have it sent to the palace and placed in the main hall if you wish to take a look at it. You spoke of earnings? Oh, yes, of course. It seems a most unusual weapon was recovered from the orc warrior, Gromok. Oh, yeah? Never seen anything like it. But perhaps his journal can give you some useful information. Beyond that, take whatever else you need from the recovery chest. You've earned it. You're free to go at any time, of course. Just up that hallway. Good luck to you. Before exiting Zedillion, I was attacked by three unusual beings in equally strange armor. I should ask Killaban if he knows anything about them. I think that, that was, was supposed quite to happen a battle. after. I hope you are uninjured. Oh, I'm fine. What were those beings? You've not heard the legends? How could that be? Oh, I have. Those beings, as you call them, aren't beings at all. They are the soulless abominations known as the Knights of Order. Their attraction to the Resonator isn't surprising. It was built from one of the obelisks that dot the Isles they seem to have an affinity for. You must proceed to Shea Gorath at once and tell him the Knights have returned. Quickly now, go! 
I'll hurry. Let me grab my uh, loot. Oh, I'm over encumbered. What did we get? You are over encumbered. Did we get something else? Oh, the new sword from the from the orc. I'll get to that in a second. Okay, what are we dropping here? We got to drop some stuff. Well, um, probably could drop some of our staffs. Which ones do less damage? Okay, this staff of storms, these don't do as much, and they're 10 pounds of whack. Let's dump those. Let's check the recovery chest. Ooh, and then you get a unique staff. See, that's an AoE staff. 50 points instead of 35 within 10 feet. We'll be taking that. Talisman of abatement? Water breathing? Detect life and feather? 75 points? That's just a good utility one. Um, water breathing, detect life, and we get 75 points points more carry weight that's awesome um a ring a scroll some gold that's it now let's take a look really fast at the sword dusk fang that we recovered this is probably the best sword in oblivion well let's find out so gold brand does 30 damage 22 points of fire damage dusk fang here's our sword we're going to finish the game with folks so look at that sword it's crazy looking right it's like got jaws now, it's called Duskfang, it does frost damage, but here's what's crazy. I won't read the journal for time's sake, but ev for every kill we make, so at night it's Duskfang, after 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. it's Duskfang, does frost. And then in the daytime, it goes to Dawnfang, it changes, and that becomes fire damage. And the fire damage, uh, or the frost and fire damage, as you devour souls with it, kill things with it, up to, I think it's 7 or 8, it powers up the enchantment more and more and more. So it actually gets more powerful as you kill people with it. And then obviously it, every day at those times you need to uh, work with it some more to, to get the enchantment up. But it's really powerful. And it makes a lot of sense because if you're going through a dungeon, you're killing everything up to the boss. And then you get to the final boss. Like, let's try it on this guy. Ready? Look how cool it looks. <laughs> And it's doing as much damage as gold brand. The raw damage when we got an upgrade. And its enchantment will do more once I extinguish a few souls. So it'll have slightly higher damage. I haven't found any amber yet, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to... I might do a thing where off camera I look up where all the amber is and go get it. Because I really want us to have that. Okay, we must head out at once to the palace. We gotta tell Shiogoroth what's going on. Well now... What news do you have to report? I was attacked by knights. So soon? Not a surprise, I suppose. We'll get to that later. No need to burden your little brain with it now. And Zedillion, since you're standing here, I assume you've succeeded. Or you're terribly confused. Or really lacking in good judgment! <laughs> Zedillion functions once more. Wonderful! Time for a celebration! Cheese for everyone! Cheese! <laughs> Wait! Scratch that! Cheese for no one! That could be just as much of a celebration if you don't like cheese, true? You've run a maze like a good little rat. But no cheese for you yet. Oh, well, maybe a little. I've granted you a new spell. The ability to summon Haskell. My Chamberlain to aid you in your travels. Huh. He knows a lot. More than he knows. In fact, give it a try. Summon our friend to you now. I'll wait. I love this part. So he's standing right there. He's kind of looking at you like, oh, please don't. And you're like, okay, summon Haskell. Uh, summon Haskell right here. Ah. <sighs> Our Lord has granted you the power to summon me. <laughs> How wonderful for me. <laughs> when summoned, I can offer advice on your current endeavor. I imagine it's up to you what to do with my wisdom. Do try to use your power sparingly. I have duties to which I must attend. Rather more important than shepherding you around, I'm sure. Alrighty then. And then watch this, I tell him. Isn't that a hoot? I love it myself. Best part of being a Daedric Prince, really. Go ahead. Try it again. He loves it! <laughs> so 
<laughs> so then he makes you do it again. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, I have to wait for the cooldown. Now do it. Ah, summoned again. My lord does so enjoy that, as is his prerogative. I'll assume you're done for now. <laughs> good, good! You'll need all the help you can get if you're going to defeat Jigalag and stop the Grey March. Whoa. Oh, don't expect to summon dear Haskell anywhere but in the realm. He dislikes leaving my presence. I get that sometimes. Okay. Um, even though we've read a little bit about it, let's ask some questions. Jigalag, who is that? The Daedric Prince of Order. Or Biscuits. No, no order. Yeah. And not in a good way. Bleak. Colorless. Dead. Boring, 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 boring! I love that line. And not a fan of my work, I can tell you. Hates it, hates me. A bit single-minded, if you take my meaning. You've seen his knights? Not the warm and cuddly sort. <laughs> Not a bit of original thought in their lifeless husks. So, you're going to help me stop him. Uh, me? How? Again with the niggling little details. Hold your tongue, or I will. <laughs> Judas. We'll get to that all in due time. For now. You've got other work to do. Um, what is the Grey March? An event. A movement. An apocalypse of sorts. Happens every era at the end of every era. Which is to say, now. The Grey March comes and Jigalag walks. Or runs. I never skips, sidles, or struts. And mostly he just destroys everything around him. Oh, wonderful. Uh, what would you ask of me now? Ask? Ask? I don't ask! Okay. I tell! Okay. This is my realm, remember? My creation, my place, my rules! Fair enough. Look at you! No concept of what you've stumbled into. No sense of place. You don't even really know where you are, do you? I suppose few really do, but that's beside the point. We're going to give you a taste of where you found yourself. You're going to learn. Learn? Learn what? Two halves, two rulers, two places. Meet and greet. Do what they will, so you know what they're about. The Duke of Mania! And the Duchess of Dementia. Seek them out and let them show you what new Shayoth is. You might be surprised. Hmm. Once you understand what my realm is, you might understand why it's important to keep it intact. And maybe you'll make some friends along the way. That's always nice. <laughs> oh, th thanks a lot there, uh, Shio Gorath. Uh, can you tell me anything about the du the Duchess of Dementia, Sil? The Duchess of Dementia. Ever wary, ever worried. A prisoner in her own house, in a way. And a delightful conversationist, really. A bit harder to meet than Thaden. Consider making an appointment. Okay, and what can you tell me about Thaden? The long-reigning Duke of Mania. A master of merriment, if you will. Or if you won't. I suspect it wouldn't matter to him. So as you play through this, you get some trophies in the, the throne room. So there, that's for killing the gatekeeper. Here's our focus crystal for Zedillion. Kind of gives you a good sense of progression in this DLC. There's a lot of awesome stuff you can acquire and do. So, alright. We need to meet with her, I guess. Um... What do you want? Never mind. Walk with our lord. Oh, I can't go back there anyway, so I guess I'll have to wait... ...out here for her. Man, even in the realms of oblivion, people have to sleep and not come out on time. What are you doing here? Why do you approach the Duchess of Dementia? Do you seek death? 
Uh, negative. I was told to find you. You're the one the Mad God sent, aren't you? Then you're safe for now. Speak to no one unless I instruct you to. None of them can be trusted. Do you hear me? None! Okay. Surrounded by traitors and spies, I am. Always, always. They watch and wait, eager to slip a knife into my spine when I'm not looking. Uh, who's spying on you? Could be all of them. Every last one. None can be trusted. Okay. But they'll never take me down. Never! I'll see them all rotting in shallow graves before I let my guard down. You. You will help me. Yes, yes, you will be most useful. Okay. Uh, how can I help? You're going to find out who knows. You're going to learn who keeps secrets, who conspires against me. Okay. You will be my grand inquisitor. Expose the conspirators and they will be punished, I assure you. Find out who keeps secrets and what they are. Speak with Herdier. He will help you. Do you understand what is required of you? If no one is found, you will be held responsible. Okay, wonderful. I've been tasked with finding the people conspiring against Lady Sill. I need to find and speak to Herder. Um, he can always be found at the torture chamber in the House of Dementia. Make this my active quest. Alright, so as part of the... <laughs> Random red guard yawn. As part of the quest, I gotta go over here to the torture chamber and talk to this guy. It's a pretty interesting quest, though it can be a little tedious at times. Oh, Judas. By the way, I learned something interesting about these hunger uh, Daedra. These are the Daedra of Boethia's realm, just so you know. Um, I have some theories I might share at the end of the DLC why they're here. has to do with the heretics and what we read, but uh, yeah, unusual that her Daedra would be so prominent in this realm. All right, Herder. What brings you to this delightful corner of the House of Dementia? How may I help you? That is a great question. Um, you're supposed to come with me. That's rather forward of you, don't you think? We've only just met and already you're ordering me around. Well, I must say, I enjoy this take charge attitude. I presume you are the Grand Inquisitor then. Hmm. Lady Sill said she'd be appointing someone. Shall we get to work? There's much to be done. So many people to visit. All right, fine. Let's go. Ah, I do appreciate an assertive leader. I look forward to working with you on this assignment. Lead the way, Grand Inquisitor. Yeah, this guy's a little creepy. So, essentially, we get to go around town with this guy and we ask people like do you know anything about this plot and they'll say no and we'll say we can tell them like liar and then this guy zaps them and tortures them and then they're and then we're like i swear i don't know and you can go liar and keep zapping them and torturing them it's it's pretty funny for time's sake because this quest can take quite a while um as to there's a lot of people you can talk to to give you little pieces and you go from this person to that person to this person to that person I think I know a way to cut out the leg work in the middle and kind of get to it a little quicker. I'm going to go try that. We'll see how it goes.